Today is uh, November 11th. I'm replacing a water heater. I was here yesterday. The I did a combustion check of this. This uh, flu baffle is uh, collapsed. If you look closely, this is going to be a short video. You can see that the top of the water heater was spilling. I just shut it off. And uh, if you look closely, I'm going to take a picture of this for my post. The tappings are bent in from the heat. So I guess this uh, collapsed. Uh, and if you can see that somebody, when they installed this, they hooked it up to, like this to the chimney. That um, is really a shitty-ass uh, connection. <laughs> but uh, this is an example of... Uh, let me get my light of a faulty backdraft water heater and you can see that that's all the way around this has been backdrafting for years the coal was a gas mill where the stove was so above this uh, water heater in the kitchen is a ductwork that was taking in the gas it's right next to the stove the customer thought it was a he thought it was uh, the, sto the stove leaking, but uh, it w apparently was the uh, water heater because I checked it. And when it came on, you could smell the gas. So this is a good example of uh, of uh, backdraft and uh, carbon monoxide poisoning. You should have your water heaters checked. I'm going to put a power vent in here. It's going to go outside. I'll take some footage of it when I'm done and I'm gonna get to work right now I'll be right back okay I removed the flue pipe here you can see down in here how this was shot okay so this is how some idiot had the uh, flue pipe in they uh, made a hole here, and uh, I don't think it was quite... Let me get my flashlight. Quite into the chimney. So, you can see here, there wasn't much space. There's a brick there, and uh, I don't know... There was a, there's the hole for the uh, chimney that was in there, so it's uh, really weird, whoever did this. This uh, was a catastrophe to happen, so I'm going to cement that and run the power vent out on a new heater. This is draining with my uh, transfer pump, I bought it at Lowe's. Milwaukee's too much. I paid a hundred and uh, I think uh, forty some dollars for this. But I'll get back here shortly. This is the power vent water heater I've completed. I just got to do some cementing. I run a two inch PVC right out. It's going to plug right in the plug over there and I'm going to cement these holes and do a test on it and make sure it's burning. This is the uh, Bradford White Defender safety system. But uh, I'll get right back to you with the final completion. Okay, I got the uh, power venter running. It's all hooked up. And I'm going to go outside and show you my uh, readings. I'm taking an analysis, make sure it's burning, power venting right. These are the readings here. Compared to yesterday's mess with the uh, other unit, got about five more minutes left. So I'm gonna cut this out. This is all for the uh, water heater replacement. Why you should have your water heater checked too, not just your furnace and your uh, boilers. Everything gotta be checked.
Okay, this is uh, Vince Marino Plumbing LLC in Pittsburgh until the next adventure. Veterans Day 2021.